I don't like to be taken advantage of. Sorry, Casey, I'm also going to take advantage of you. I'm also gonna take advantage of my dog. Not in that way, because that's illegal. In the internet way, because the internet loves cute dogs. Isn't that true, Barney? It is true. For those of you who have been living under a rock, last week, Burger King systematically went through famous YouTubers, internet celebrities, influencers, tweets from 2009 and 2010, and started liking a few of them. For no good reason, out of the blue, nobody knew what was going on. Burger King went through my old tweets, and they liked three of my tweets from 2010. And this understandably had a number of influencers perplexed, and people took to social media to ask, why is Burger King liking tweets of mine from 2009, 2010? So I screen captured it and I tweeted, why is Burger King liking my eight-year-old tweets? Casey Neistat was one of those influencers who was perplexed and he tweeted out why. And his tweet asking Burger King why they were liking his tweet from 2009, 2010 got something like 35,000 retweets. That tweet was liked by 13,600 people. Sorry, I just watched the footage. It was 280 retweets and liked by over 13,000 people. Here's why Burger King was liking your old tweet. Guess who they used as their example for people who are confused? And the thing that upsets me the most about all this is just how genius it was. And I, and I, and I. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, before we go, we go, we go any further, can we just look at Casey's clapping for a second? That is Nicole Kidman level clapping right there. Cup over cup. Well, that's terrible. Okay, what a, awful, just awful. Carry on. The marketing campaign was genius, and the question is why did it work so well? Influencers, companies, brands, people who live in the public eye are fighting for attention, and they're fighting for attention in a good way and sometimes in a bad way. The good way would be the Casey Neistats. The bad way would be the Logan Pauls. People trying to establish brand recognition are fighting for attention. Burger King knew this when they decided to go back and like people's tweets from 2009, 2010. And when Casey Neistat got the likes from Burger King from 2009, 2010, he saw an opportunity for exposure in the public light and he seized on it. When he tweeted out, why is Burger King liking my tweets from 2009, 2010? He was doing it for attention. He was doing it to capitalize off probably what he thought was a mistake by Burger King. Some silly individual is going back and accidentally liking tweets from 2009, 2010. Or he was doing it to seize the opportunity. Burger King fast food giant with one plus million Twitter followers is liking my tweets. Casey's huge, but smaller huge. Everybody likes getting recognized by someone else who is huge as well. PewDiePie has 83 million followers, but when he gets a tweet from Elon Musk, he loves it too. And Elon Musk is beyond huge, but he knows by tweeting out at PewDiePie, he is going to gain some brand recognition with 83 million people who may not know who he is. So Casey Neistat, when he tweeted that out, was exploiting the opportunity, not in a malicious, not in a mean-spirited way. It was just seizing an opportunity that presented itself, but he didn't know that he was going to be the object of a double cross because Burger King was playing the same game. 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 This is Machiavellian spy versus spy stuff. Burger King knew that by tweaking the intrigue of influencers, they would then tweet out what's going on here, increasing everyone's brand awareness, and for pennies on the dollar, they could get brand exposure and awareness that ordinarily would take a Super Bowl ad at millions of dollars to obtain. It was genius. But I'm still angry. Yeah took from me just a little bit of my integrity and dignity, social media respect perhaps. It was genius. And the double cross was genius. And I pointed that out to Casey in one of my comments on his original video responding to the double cross. And so Casey puts out a video purporting to be angry that he was exploited in Burger King's social marketing campaign. It was obviously tongue in cheek for anyone with half a sense of humor, but the press ran with negative headlines and ostensibly believing that Casey Neistat was serious in his anger at having been exploited by Burger King. And Casey puts out another video saying, how could the media take it seriously? Anyone with a sense of humor should have known that I was joking. Burger King knew that I was joking. Earlier this week, I put out a video, tongue in cheek commentary videos. I thought it was brilliant when I made the video. I still think it's brilliant, Burger King. Not every Everyone got the joke. And you know what the reality is? The media didn't think Casey was serious, but by running their own negative headlines, by projecting a situation of drama, crisis, influencer Casey Neistat rips Burger King. Was Burger King wrong to trick influencers? They too can exploit the situation. Mainstream media did not believe that Casey was serious. They did not believe that anyone was angry. They did not seriously believe that it was a moral issue, one that needed to be addressed. Was Burger King wrong for exploiting influencers? But they ran the stories and they ran the headlines because they too want to seize the opportunity for their 
their own awareness, for their own clicks, for their own social media presence. It's exploitation around the house. And the ultimate outcome is that Burger King and Casey seem to now have established a relationship. Even better than that is Burger King has agreed to donate $25,000 to various charities of Casey's choosing. Oh, hello. When are you gonna be done? I wanna put something on the TV. Oh, if you want, oh, thank you, you're waiting for me. That's very nice. Two minutes. <laughs> Burger King and Casey seem to have established now a relationship, and it's wonderful. And Burger King's gonna donate $25,000 before the cynics out there say that they're just doing that for good press. And if someone wants to be cynical, they can say it's more opportunistic exploitation of the situation by Burger King, like Casey. But if they're exploiting it for good, there's nothing really bad about it. Yes. Burger King is making donations because it will enhance their brand. Okay. Maybe my perspective is a little off, but I don't fault anyone for doing the right thing even if it is for opportunistic reasons. This is the game of social media. Seize the moment, seize the opportunity to increase exposure, brand awareness. Casey did it. He did it for good reasons and he did it for a good outcome. It's gonna build his brand, but it's gonna build his brand as an influencer who uses his influence for good. And there's nothing wrong with that. Burger King is gonna seize off the opportunity to show that not only are they a fast food chain that sells fast food, but they also give back to the community. That's a good thing. The thing I love most about this entire situation, and it's my one big takeaway and it should be everyone's one big takeaway. How you can network through comedic, humorous, human interactions. Networking is not about going to Sanka sets, which are five to sevens in French, shaking hands, giving business cards. Networking today has to be done through more creative means, compelling means. Casey says that when Burger King called him, he didn't know who he was gonna be on the phone with. This morning I get on a call with him. I don't know who I'm talking to. I assume that it's gonna be like social media marketing team or something like that. It's their CMO. You're being modest, Casey. You know darn well you're getting someone very high up because you yourself are very high up in the world. But the wonderful thing is that you seized the opportunity to create a humorous, compelling piece of content that you knew would get Burger King's attention. You probably could have picked up a phone from day one to call them, but this way is so much more engaging. It's so much more community building in a way, because now the entire world is into this relationship that is blossoming between Casey and Burger King. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe. It's wonderful to watch, small or big. This is how you create relationships. This is how you create bonds. And the ultimate punchline of all of this, I am seizing on the opportunity to try to get some exposure for myself. <laughs> Casey, Burger King. I don't really eat fast food, but if you made something healthy, I would certainly- No, I love Burger King. I, I swear to you, I did not plan that. <laughs> the chicken nuggets. That's McDonald. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Peace out. Boom. I am from Quebec. This is called the Méchant Burger, which means the mean burger. Bacon, caramelized onions, spicy mayonnaise, jalapeno peppers. Oh my God, that's good. This is not good for you. <laughs>